honey family here. This is Noah. William's the cameraman today. I'm going to show you today how we uh, medicate for mites. We use formic acid, uh, mite applied quick strips, typically almost always, because it's so effective. And I'm just going to show you how I do it. Uh, this hive is, is healthy and everything. Uh, typically what you want to do is check for some kind of mite drop. On this hive, of course, I don't have a... I could do a, a powder test or something like that, but I just, I just don't do that. Um, I do have hives in every yard that, that have uh, ventilated bottom boards, which is part of the IPM that you really want to use. Um, instead of just formic acid or something like that. But these guys got their winter weight. And just real quick, what you want to do is break the hive body apart. Now this is how they recommend that you do it. I'm showing you the recommended method. Um, I typically have found that one of these strips, they come in packets of two, is good enough for the entire hive. And so what I'll do is just clean off. I usually like to put them on the top, the back bars here. Just clean off a little bit there. Stick a strip there. Then you put this high body on, but what you got to do when you put two of them on like this is you have to offset the high bodies. So if William could zoom in, what I'm going to do is that's square. That's how the high body should be. I'm going to pull it back just a hair. And for at least three days, keep it like this. So try to do it when it's not going to rain. Because whether you ventilate the front or the back, uh, you have to, either way, rain's going to get in one way or the other. I'm doing the front because rain typically comes from back this direction, and that way it's kind of got a little guard. Then take your second one, strip and put it on the top bars of the top hive body. And then the last step is the inner cover. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I have these flat inner covers on one side and grooved on the other. This this is great for when you have to put these strips on there. They're making them skinnier now, so I could just put this down like this, or rather like this, and it would be okay. But I think it's more effective if you turn it over and you make it so that on the back of a hive, this ventilation hole is pointing down. And what that does is it makes air kind of flow, you know, through up in here, not around on top. So if you put it up like this, air has to come up through this hole and to go out, but this way air goes kind of along the back side of the hive to go out. So this is also how I use it in the winter, but I'm not doing that yet. I'm just doing this to make room for that mite strip. And then they're done. Leave it on there for seven days. Make sure that the ventilation hole is open in the back. Leave it on there for seven days. Then you can go in and take them off, re reposition all the hive bodies. We'll show you that on the next video. It's been seven days since I put my uh, Mite Applied Quick Strips or Max in the hives. And so I just wanted to show you now what, what I do. Of course, you need to pull those off. But the first thing I, you do is in preparing the bees for winter is that you reduce their entrance. You reduce their entrance because bees are starting to rob. Nectar's very slow coming in, although it's still coming in. But bees are starting to rob. You want to you want to make it so that the hive is defensible. So I'm going to put this entrance reducer in there, and you can see that I keep my hives open pretty much most of the year because we get it we, we get pretty hot here. I got my hive stapled. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a staple. It's on three sides. So what I what I need to do is lift this up just a tad to get this to fit in there. So what I do is I stick my hive tool just flat in there and raise up and it pulls as, as much as it can. Slip that door in. And now the entrance went from the entire hive body or bottom board to just the area from here to here. You want to do that first because you know you're gonna to have to when you open the hive you're gonna to have to shake off the lid and the inner cover. And those bees are going to be in your way if you try to do it after you work the hive. 
So you do it before you work the hive. There's the strips. There's the bees. And this is what I was talking about. You want to shake them off? I shake them off because I don't want to squish anybody when I'm putting them back on. And then you just pull this strip off. I'm just using my bare hands. Uh, probably should use some gloves of some sort, but most of the formic acid is basically out of the hive now. So, we can go ahead and zoom in on this. And you can see that they tried to propolize that entire strip here. Now it's only been a week. Had you waited two weeks or three weeks, this is gonna be 10 times worse. But I always scrape that off, throw it in my bucket. And then you basically, this is some leftover teramycin that kind of got hard on them. Sometimes I'll break that up and let them get to it that way. And then you want to close them up for the winter. It almost got to freezing here last night where we live. So I put my inner cover upside down. And William will show you around the back of the hive that there's a vent there. Especially when I put this on correctly. There's a little vent there. I like it on the back of the hive so that the, the airflow in this position comes in the front door, goes along the back wall here and out. It doesn't cool the very center of the brood and it provides good moisture protection. The other thing that you gotta do when you do that is put your inner cover on and slide it all the way back so that there's a gap in there. And then that's basically, they're ready for the winter. And then of course you do your tilt test. Again, these guys have got some pretty good weight to them. Use whatever method you want and mark the weight. And these guys are now closed up and ready for winter. You got to keep an eye on them still, but they're ready for winter. They're ready for cold weather. And they got plenty of honey, this hive, and most of the hives here. So thanks for watching again. That's it for Max.